shiny it's so humid as always it's let's see I think it's in the upper 80s right now and storms are coming through soon I think Hurricane Elsa is gonna hit us with her rainstorms but not hurricane level stuff but we are out on a walk we just went to the dollar store and stocked up on crafts and then had a quick snack break but we are going into Lidl to get some ingredients for like a fresh summer pasta dish. So a bunch of veggies and olives and stuff. Yeah, let's go. my outfit of the day though I'm probably gonna put on my big loose long sleeve shirt for hanging out in the house and Sebastian helped me choose my kimono to wear just because I didn't want to feel too naked wearing this but it was pretty hot out there the rain has started the thunder has started so it's probably cooler outside now yeah it's already dropped down to 75 but, oh. yeah we went on a walk, we went into grocery stores, we came home, they ate lunch, and I've just been working on beer labels. I still have one more to at least get to draft. Well, I did two that were updates. I did a draft of one that's a new one, and I haven't started the draft of the, the other one yet, but I did send an email off about it, but it's already... 4 o'clock, so <laughs> we need to start quite a time. Uh, yeah, that's all I've got for you right now. See you on the other side.
We are getting ready for bed. Sebastian's in the bath and I just had one, which is why I am in pajamas. I feel like you've seen me in a multitude of outfits today. Three, I believe. Because inside the air conditioner, I've just worn a cozy long sleeve shirt. And when we went outside for our walk, it was pretty hot and humid. So Sebastian helped me choose a top to throw on for my tank, as I said. And now, yeah. No use putting clothes on when you're clean. Put on your clean jeans. <sighs> While he was in the tub, I was mixing up a test batch of my next color, which is basically the same, but instead of copper mixed with the white to neon, it is gonna be, it's called apricot. So it's like a orangey peach. Uh, let me see. I think it's, it's kind of like, oh, this is, no, this is looking a little too dark. It's like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's not quite like a dried apricot. It's more like a less yellowy regular apricot. You'll see. I'm going to start redoing my braids a little early. So as I said, when I first ordered all this, I got a bunch of shades of ginger and peach to slowly like go from this dark color here. I have no idea how fast it'll fade, but I'm gonna slowly move down to peach and then hopefully get it out of my hair fairly easy. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But I think I might start now. Normally about this time, I buy myself a couple weeks by redoing all the ones around my face and anything that has come loose. I am about a week away from a month of having this in, but yeah, I might just go ahead and just start changing it. I feel like it's going to be a close call. I might not have enough of the apricot. I was, it was so close to running out of the copper and I do have two more bags of the copper so I could have opened up a new bag. So I don't know, I feel like I need more apricot min mixed with that neon pink because the pink is so bright i might have to just deal with it being really bright since the apricot's not as dark as copper when it blends it's not making this lovely coral color it's just like really neon so i need to figure that out i'm not gonna order anything new i don't know i don't want to have to mix copper into it too because mixing three colors is just an ordeal and a big mess but anyway, let's go over the day before he announces he's done and I have to get him out. It's, it's already like, I want to get him out at 9.30. So, we're on a time crunch here. We got up, we had breakfast. He's already saying something to me. We, did I work or did I go straight out? I didn't have work yet. So we went out to, the shopping center with the dollar store. He is freaking calling me. What do you need? The hand soap, the blue one, no. I'm not using hand soap, do you need soap? Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. You can use this one. What kind of soap? Wait. What kind of stuff? This one. Yeah, when you run out. No, like one of that. Well, yeah, whatever. We'll do something. <laughs> okay. So we went out to a shopping center that does have a nice long trail, but we did not know when rain was going to come. So. I decided that we would do a smaller loop, which is not as nature filled, but took us through the shopping center. Sebastian wanted to go to the dollar store and passed two grocery stores. So I could ask my husband if we wanted to get any supplies for a fresh dinner. He had no ideas, but said he would cook whatever if I had an idea. So we just went ahead and went. We went to the dollar store. We got craft supplies there. And then we had a quick snack at the Starbucks over there. 
they were like, are you cheating on your normal location? I'm like, we just like to change up our walks. And then I messaged him from there saying, hey, maybe we can do some, what we call summer pasta, where we put like summer veggies in it. We do like an olive oil and garlic pasta and then add things like asparagus and tomatoes and olives. We did zucchini from my friend's garden. And I was supposed to get spinach and I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, he's like, cool, he sent me a list of veggies and we headed to Lidl. So that was halfway along our walk. Couldn't find sun-dried tomatoes. So as we were leaving that, he's like, you could also get cherry tomatoes. So there was a Aldi back where we parked. So we went in there, still no sundry tomatoes, which breaks my heart because they're so delicious. So we got cherry tomatoes. Then we headed home and while we were walking, I started to get my work for the day. As I said, I think it was two redo labels that were fast and two new labels. There you go, Stephanie Math. You got it. <laughs> so, yeah, I've already updated you on that. But I did as much as I could until like right before four. And then I'm like, okay, we absolutely have to do quiet time. It's getting late. So we went up. We did quiet time until like I cut it off at 5 30. He was happy watching shows, but I'm like, I can smell the pasta. Food's gonna be ready soon. Sure enough, I go down there. I do a quick. Uh, no, I didn't do any edits. I went ahead and sent the final version of one of the newer labels because he had responded saying that, that that one would probably work just as how I had sent it in the draft. So I was sending that and my husband's like, okay, can you make salad? So immediately made the salad and then dinner was ready. We ate dinner. And after dinner, I got a message from our neighbors, our alley neighbors. There's alleys that run behind the houses, so even if they're not on our row, we do share an alley section. We were doing fireworks, and that was when we last saw them, but there were car break-ins last night, and they were hit, which is scary. And yesterday evening, I was complaining to Dan that our camera wasn't recording. There was nothing after 7.30. Normally it picks up every car that goes down our street, every person that walks by, every package that's delivered. There was nothing. And I know people walked by. I watched cars drive by and it wasn't picking it up. So I'm like, oh, this is so annoying. And then it turns out three cars were broken into in our neighborhood and the police aren't really doing anything because not much was taken. I felt so bad that my friend messaged and I had no recordings because she's like, we really think that they came from your house's direction. Do you have anything on your cameras? And like literally nothing on our cameras, nothing. So I did have him reboot that just now. And I've gotten a couple alerts from our camera. It actually recorded somebody walking on the sidewalk and I just saw another one went through. Um, I don't get alerts for the vehicle, so I need to go in tonight and see if it's started to record the vehicles on the street. Today we did get some recordings prior to him rebooting me on the porch. Got picked up and a couple large trucks down the street, but the mailman brought packages up. I think he tosses them from the bottom of the stairs, but once he hits our sidewalk, he should be recorded. So the packages are just magically there. and yeah really frustrating and really terrible timing so hopefully it's fixed don't think we're gonna see any break-ins right this moment because we were just here and we're probably laying low but we need this working if this is gonna happen in our neighborhood which is a, such a wonderful safe neighborhood uh, I don't keep anything in my car there's a stroller and a baby carrier there's nothing else um, Oh, I said, um, I don't like what I say. Um, let's see. So I went downstairs and I started working on more drums for that music store. Just kind of alternating between this embroidery and the kit. Figured out what glue works best for gluing the rims on so it's less of an ordeal. So I was working on that and then decided to take a bath because Sebastian wanted one. And we just like to share the water. I 
dump out half of my ultra hot water when I'm done. Add more soap and bubbles and some cold water to make it cooler for him and then he goes in. So yeah, that's where we are. What else do I have to say? Tomorrow's Friday. I don't know if I'll see my husband or if he will be going out. It's kind of weird that he's going out with his friends again now. I don't see him much. And my birthday's coming up. My birthday's next week. Oh, tomorrow is vlog a thousand. Is it? Is to, today vlog 999? Look down there and tell me, is this 999? I've got nothing for you for a vlog. That was it. I'm so sorry. I looked at the dollar store to see if they had like candles for one and three zeros, but yeah, they didn't. They had zero candles, but no ones. And then they had these like number balloons, but they had ones, but no zeros. So I'm like, I don't know what to do for it. I mean, I don't even have anything fun planned. It's just another day. My husband's gonna work and then probably go out with his friends and that's that, so sorry gonna be a bummer. Too bad it didn't land on my birthday, but it's what it is. Yeah. A thousand videos. I do like a routine. I'm a girl who likes routine. I'm on day like 720 of doing Duolingo every single day. A lot of good that does me. I still know no Korean. Uh, I only started it because I'm cool. The alphabet just looks so freaking cool and I love languages and I'm so terrible at them and it has no conversational activities. I was just telling my husband that I wished I could buy the lifetime subscription to Rosetta Stone that gets you unlimited languages, unlimited lessons for life. I still want it, but he's like, oh, I would never pay for that when there's free stuff. I'm like, well, tell me what free things I can do because here's my list of things that Duolingo is lacking for me. And he wasn't able to tell me. If he told me one, I'm like, nope, sorry, that one's pay. You have to pay weekly. Nope, this is pay. So, yeah. I don't know where this is all coming from. Yeah, good night. I'm gonna go get my child out of the bath before he turns into a little prune. I will see you tomorrow for vlog number 1000. Woo! Yeah, stay safe. Be kind. And don't forget, wash your hands. <laughs>